So, uh, car update day today. Hello, welcome to the channel. If you haven't joined me before, my name's Tommy. Um, I'm currently going to pick up the SF90. I am uh, in what looks like the middle of nowhere, but um, this is a storage facility where some of my cars are. So I'm gonna show you the SF90 and let you know what's going on with that. Also, the Hurricane Storato, let you know what's going on with that. And then uh, the Roboto is also here. So I'll also let you know what's going on with that too. It's very sunny, so um, I'm getting blinded. I have shades, but every time I talk to you guys, I have shades on. Oh, there they are. Here we go. Also, I'm gonna try and talk you through some of the cars that um, I'm thinking about buying uh, and there's one that has my heart and it's high on the list. But um, first of all, let's go in. I'll introduce you to my rap guys and then um, go through some of the cars. So uh, here's the Hurricane Storato, as you can see. Um, it's been blacked out the front of the lower section, which makes it look a lot more aggressive and the roof. Um, here's the guy. Oh, all good. So the SF90 is outside now. As we can see, it's back to red with the black wheels. This is Yanni's worst nightmare. Um, the SF90 that destroyed his Rivalto over and over again. Here's a clip. I do love this car, the SF90 is just an incredible machine. It's literally like a monster on the roads, a thousand horsepower and it's comfortable, and it handles well, and it looks well. Um, Ferrari's announced that they've stopped making them now, so I have confidence that this might go up in value. However, it'll be dumb to keep, I just don't need it. Um, and if I want one again, I can always buy one. It wasn't like they were limited models or anything, although they didn't make as many as they were anticipating it would. Like I was saying, the um, Hurricane Storato is here with a little surprise on it. So um, Dan from Rap Sanctuary puts my wife's name on it. As you guys know, this is my wife's supercar. And then also the name of her latest song. I think it actually suits the car. It makes it look very racy, very aggressive. Um, I like this. So we put the, um, look at that. They're talking about rapping stuff. I understand, but I'm not gonna pretend like I'm a rapper. But yes, they are, they rap cars here. So you can actually come here and learn how to rap a car if you're interested. Just um, go to the Rap Sanctuary website and they have a training course you can sign up to. You can rap your own car here or you can rap this wonderful Model Y Tesla. Speaking of rap, the final car here that belongs to me is a wonderful Lamborghini Rivalto. Um, currently, it's getting PPF applied to it. Um, as you can see, it is very, very shiny. This looks absolutely stunning, I must say. Look at that. I can't wait to get this out on the road, but yeah, PPF's being applied to it. But if you're wondering how long um, it's gonna take to do the PPF, not long, but the reason the car has been here for so long is because, um, the exhaust on these cars is very quiet. So my friend at GV Performance is making it less quiet and that's all I can say. Update on the cars. I think the SF90 I may sell just because um, I've got the reward so I'm trying to get the 918 and I don't really need another 1000 horsepower car. It's gorgeous, it's fast, it's comfortable, but the Rewelto pretty much does the same job. Um, the Hurricane Storato, um, we were going to uh, keep it, but um, my wife has found something else that she wants. So we're gonna get rid of this. However, I was gonna do a giveaway on the SF90 and give that away and then give the profits of the giveaway to charity, but we might do it on this instead and work with a charity that we've been speaking to um, just uh, it's, it's a bit more interesting and it's a bit more uh, affordable for um, these giveaway companies because obviously raising 300 and something thousand is a lot harder than raising 200 and something thousand. Stay tuned for your opportunity to win this Lamborghini Hurricane Storato. Um, it, again, it's for charity. It's not, it's not to it'll be a douche. But um, yeah, that's coming soon. But yeah, Rap Sanctuary is where I come to do all the wraps on my cars. These guys are um, the best in the game in the UK, I feel. Attention to detail and then um, Dan, Dan, who's here, um, the owner, he's just a nice guy and he's got his hair, head on his shoulders. 
and he's very, very um, eager to make sure everything goes well, and I'm eager to support people like that. But yeah, some updates. Um, there's a car that I found that I want to buy. It's a 1968 Dodge Charger. Very random, very different. I saw it on Auto Trader, and every day since then, I've just been thinking about it. So. I really want to get it and start a series, do some mods to it, and just, you know, tasteful mods. Just get it looking um, up to date, a bit more modern, and then uh, obviously do things like the handling, put new suspension on it, obviously modern tires, um, and then the engine, uh, and just make it like this amazing car to drive and a cruiser. I, uh, I never thought I would like an American, American muscle car, but I can't stop thinking about it ever since I saw it on Auto Trader. So I think, I want to get this uh, Dodge Charger. You guys need to let me know if you have any experience with American muscle or American cars, because I have none. Um, some advice would be great, because I don't know if it's a like a good model, if that makes sense, a good spec, just because, I, again, I have no knowledge. Uh, give me something Italian, and I'll, I'll be confident, but American cars, I'm a lot less confident in. And wants to buy some dodgy RA off of Facebook. No, I don't. So, Dan, I, need a da I want to buy a Dodge Charger, yeah. yeah. But you're saying I should buy, what was that, an I'll Eldorado? Bring, no, a lowrider. Yeah, you I don't want a lowrider. No, you are Tommy Music, your missus. No, is, but that's irrelevant yeah, in this. I can see. I, I'm no, like, okay. Snoop Dogg. No, but I want to be doing, I want to be, listen, listen, I want to be doing family, um, what's it called? Fast and Furious. I want to be. Fast and the Furious? I don't have friends, I've got family. That's what I want to do. I want to be in my Dodge Charger. And I want to have a thousand horsepower. I want to rev it. And it's so much to it twists the chassis off the line. Yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> I'll get a Mark IV Super. I need to get fuel in the SF90. Then I'm going to um, this, wow, what a shot. And then I'm going to um, head home mm -hmm. and then... Um, come pick up your car. Come pick up my other car. I really want the other one, but is G here? I don't know. Walk around there and have a little bit. I'm walking to see um, G. He does my exhaust. See what cool things he has in there. And then, um, God, it's sunny today. I'm, I'm getting blinded. I feel like I have shades on me, but I'm not sure. So G's uh, workshop is just full of Lambos. No one's in at the moment, so um, I guess I won't be seeing G. I forgot I have another car here, and it's my Lexus IS250. G's doing some stuff to it for me. Yeah, that's all from here. Let's go and uh, look at some potential cars to add to the collection, and I'm gonna talk to you about um, the other cars that are going, um, because if you look at my drive now, it's quite bare at the moment, which is, um, different for me so let's jump in the the sf90 right now oh my god it's so hot but um it has no fuel so um i will be running on electric mode that wonderful low fuel low fuel limited cruising range i have five miles to go um it says electronic drive not available uh let's see what happens so somehow I actually made it into the petrol station with no fuel left. Um, the electric kicked in when I was like 100 meters away, so I, that might have saved me. But um, let's get it fueled up and back on the road. So uh, the SF90 is back home safe and sound. Had a bit of a sketch moment. I forgot how um, how sketchy this car can be to drive. But yeah, back home safe and sound. Um, this is my mum's car, that's not my car. Um, I am thinking of getting rid of the Porsche GT3 RS. Uh, nothing against it, it's just very race car. My wife isn't its biggest fan. She doesn't enjoy getting in it when I'm driving it because it's um, it's very hardcore. Um, so this will go, maybe this will go. Um, the Rualto, um, the SVJ will stay. Um, this car goes, the 918 should be here. Dodge Charger that I found, Charger, Challenger, Charger? i am confused myself. Um, that Dodge that I found, is really tempting me. I really, really want it. I've never experienced an American muscle car before, so I, it'll be my first time. But um, I think this is something that I need <laughs> for in my life. I would love a project car anyway. The world of cars is really funny right now because there's nothing that I really want. So for that to come up and me to be feeling so strongly about it, it's just something different, something um, enjoyable and something nice. Um, also, I have been um, considering getting a Pura Sangue, so I think that might be a possibility, but again, I am not sure. I had my Pura Sangue order um, with uh, Ferrari, but it still hasn't, I have been assigned a slot. So I'm thinking just to buy a used one and then um, cancel that new order. Oh, I had a slight issue with my 3RS. Check out what I did to my 3RS in my absent-mindedness. I, um, 
damage the plastic on the side. So what's going to happen is Porsche um, High Wycombe are going to replace that. Can you guess how much that part is? What do you think? Really expensive or really cheap? It's plastic or carbon reinforced plastic is what they call it. So um, I'm, I'm interested to know what you guys guess that would be. Thinking about getting a Cayman GT4 RS. My friend's selling one. Why not, I guess? It'd be a fun little run around. So look out for that. Uh, so it's the next day and um, I've got some slight updates for you guys. Garage opens. I just want to quickly show you something. Look how close the front of the SF90 is. It's literally almost skims the front of the car and then these bolts here which would have definitely hit it stop just there so um i'll say that's a win if i get that charger do you know what my ideal build is making it look so pristine on the outside on the exterior and the interior again pristine but with some modern touches so um just reupholster seats um like a little bit of tech but hidden tech um, I want to put uh, the best possible brakes on it. I want to put like a hidden roll cage just to make it a bit more safe. Um, I want a great exhaust uh, and then performance. I want to lower it. I want to put um, improved modern suspension. I want to put things like uh, uh, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just excited. I know you can like do chassis reinforcement to improve the ride quality. New tires, as in modern tires. Oh, there's so much, there's, there's so much possibility with what to do with that car, and that's why I really want it. Um, if I don't get that car, I'm sure I'll get another classic, but I am in a classic vibe. And that Dodge Charger, as soon as I opened it up, I went, oh my God, this is sexy. Uh, I just wish, I wish, I wish it wasn't 100 grand. If it was like 50, 60, I would have committed to it and got it already. But 100 grand, I'm thinking, do you know what you can get for 100 grand? You can get some serious cars, but Gintani exhaust coming on the Rualto uh, Dodge Charger. I really, really want one. Um, and then there's some new cars that I'm interested in again, but the market is just really weird right now. Uh, but yeah, please do let me know if you have any, any ideas on cars uh, or if you have any American car experience. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Again, it was a casual one today. I've got more exciting stuff coming soon and I hope you enjoyed. Peace and... Um, Bye. It's not goodbye. Farewell. See you later.